To avoid the pain and to fit in, we often mold ourselves into what we believe others want us to be. As a result, we can become people pleasers and what I affectionately refer to as doormats. Both are just phases, they're not who you truly are. And because of the fear of ridicule and being bullied or not fitting in, we also hide our gifts, and in doing so, our true selves until we don't know who we are anymore. I believe that every decision we make, every choice, either takes us a step forward towards expressing and accepting our most authentic selves, or takes us a step back towards losing ourselves, towards being small, and ultimately towards dis-ease. I grew up in a culture where I was rewarded for being non-confrontational, invisible, and a people pleaser. I made myself small to the point of invisibility and always felt the need to apologize even for my own existence. So many empaths I speak with feel this way. When our history, our roots are embedded in a world where we've become rewarded for being non-confrontational people pleasers, it can become incredibly frustrating to feel unable to speak out, both on our own behalf and about the many injustices around us. Much healing is needed on our planet. Ours is a world in peril. If you watch or read the news each day, or are active on social media, you wouldn't be faulted for fearing that we may possibly be on the verge of our own extinction. Just look at everything the media reports on. All the shootings, killings, the political wars, and the way people rip one another apart and speak about one another. People are getting angrier. We're stressed. We can't have a conversation without it being political. As I write this, we're dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. And while the internet has brought so much good to our lives, it's also amplified all that's going on around us. It seems that every single incident everywhere on our planet is reported in real time 24-7. There are no rules, no codes of conduct, and this world can feel oppressive and overwhelming. For empaths, today's world is a minefield. We often want to scream at those in power, that is, those who uphold the idea of survival of the fittest and use whatever means to get to the top, to stop spreading fear and instead spread compassion. But that very act of speaking out runs counter to what we've been conditioned to do and be. Speaking out publicly not only requires tremendous courage, but it also opens us up to blatant attacks which we may feel ill-equipped to handle. So the thought of adding our voices to the conversation is enough to make us run and hide under a rock. Yet, there's also never been a better time for empaths to emerge. Empaths uphold the traits that we as a culture have gradually lost in past years. Traits like sensitivity, empathy, kindness, and compassion. Empaths have always existed, and with the present state of our world, more books are being written to help us. As a result, not only are more people becoming aware that they are empaths, but the number very well may be growing. Christian Northrup, MD, author of Dodging Energy Vampires and an Empath herself, writes, Empaths are highly advanced souls being incarnated on earth in increasing numbers to shed light into the darkness during this time of transformation. That's why I've titled this book, Sensitive is the New Strong. When I realized I was an empath, I had no toolbox to dig into, no appliances to assist me or instruction manuals to read, nothing to help me transition from invisible to obvious. I soon realized that if there were going to be a toolbox to take the person I used to be to who I am now, I would have to create that toolbox for myself. And that's what I did. The tools and suggestions I offer in this book are not the type of tips you may...